What's up, y'all? It's Rob from Bricks Fitness, and I'm gonna vlog today. That was kind of funky. Yeah, I gotta try that again. I'm not smelling your armpit. Mm. Right? This smells good. I know. What's up, y'all? It's Bricks from Bricks Fitness. Today I'm Bricks. Sometimes I'm Rob. <laughs> sometimes I'm Bricks, sometimes I'm Rob. Anyway, we're about to hit shoulders today. Um, I've decided to start a maintenance style uh, approach to my diet, right? Because I've always been either in a deficit where I'm trying to lose body fat or I'm just like eating whatever I want. Never ever in between. So right now, I'm trying to do some damage control to my metabolism because for years, I've always been a dieting so aggressively, which has my metabolic profile all out of whack. So today, oh, and I'm also working on strength. I've come to the realization that that's an area of my program that I've been lacking in, and I'm nowhere near as strong as I should be. So I'm gonna uh, be doing strength training. So we're doing heavy shoulders today. We're gonna do a mini prep, meal prep. So, so people have been asking me to do a meal prep video. So I'm doing a, a little mini prep. Well, Candice is, I don't really cook. I cook breakfast. RJ's first AAU practice is today. And Kimmy's putting on her. Damn, all that? I almost, I almost ate it. To the gym. I'm making sure that I, I warm up my muscles very efficiently before I start lifting because this is injury, this is injury uh, town, strength training. Injury territory. <laughs> yeah, that's injury territory. Strength. Just make sure you're doing it safely. I'm learning. So I'm not gonna give you guys any tips until I, I figure, you know, I figure this out myself. You, you can watch it, but this is, you know, this is my disclaimer. I really, uh, you know, this is a new, this is new territory for me. All right, a big part of shoulder health is shoulder mobility. You want to make sure that you have mobile shoulders because that's going to prevent injury. Um, usually, I would use a PVC pipe. There's no PVC up here, so I'm just using this band. And you kind of want to make sure you're stretching and you're working on your mobility. Um, the, closer, the closer your hands are together, the more challenging. So if you don't have a lot of shoulder mobility, you want to go wider. Start out wide, and as your mobility increases, you want to you know, start bringing your hands in a little closer. So you want to spend at least the first 10 or 15 minutes just warming up, working on uh, doing dynamic stretches, dynamic warm-ups. Oh. You need to do this with a cable or with a band. You should feel it right here. And then that burn. You want to make sure that your elbows are stationary. You don't want it flaring out here. Keep your elbows tucked to the side.
Okay, mini prep. Red potatoes, artichoke, um, some peppers, Brussels sprouts, butternut squash, some spinach, ground turkey, ground chicken. So to have a little quick variety, we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna make Asian style and Mexican style. When I, after I um, saute down the meats, then I'll add those to it. And then I'm gonna saute the peppers and split them up and add the two different dressings. Um, boil the butternut squash and boil the Brussels sprouts. So then you can put them in the oven at 425 so they bake way faster. Then potatoes, spray real quick and put them in the oven with the vegetables. So I always drop stuff when I cook. Look how this spatula landed. So I just finished my workout. I knocked out 25 minutes of cardio after I did my shoulders. And Cammy just texted me, said that there's no oatmeal in the house. So I gotta run to the supermarket, get some oatmeal, and come back to the crib real quick. So I made the mistake of going to the supermarket in the hood on the first. That took me about 25 minutes, it was crazy. But I'm glad I did, because they had oatmeal on sale for 99 cents for the big joint. Pause. So, I'm super lit. This is totally random, right? But I just seen a cop car. It feels so good not to be afraid of the police anymore. Like every time I used to see the police, I used to get nervous. If they were behind me, I would try to see where I could turn off or like my heart would start racing. It feels so good to have that security knowing that I'm no longer doing anything illegal with my life. I'm 100% legit, my license is good, my registration is good, like, there's no warrants, I don't have to go to court for nothing. Like, it feels so good to be in that place in my life, and, like, and I just wanted to acknowledge that moment, because it used to be stressful when I seen police. Just, uh, I'm just appreciative of the fact that I'm just not in that space anymore. It feels good. Picking up the kids from the bus stop right now. Yeah, I'm so appreciative of these moments, man, like, I just moved back here last year. I lived in LA for a while, so I was doing the long distance dad thing. So I just, I cherish these moments, man. Like seeing my daughter running up to the car. Hi, daddy. Hey, princess. What you doing? I was, Woo! I was waiting for you guys. Huh? I was waiting for you guys. Oh, Hi. Hey, man. Hi, daddy. What's up, buddy? How was your day? Do I have to go? Let's practice. What's tough? Okay. What's good, boy? Why is it good, me? Ain't nothing, bro. Just pick the kids up. Hi, Uncle Matt. Hey, Hi. what's up? What's up? All right, I want y'all to go inside. Because so, I got to speak to Uncle Matt. So I have a younger brother. He's about, <clears throat> I think Matt's like 29 or 30. Anyway. Um. And I see him going down a path, you know, the same kind of path that I was going down before I kind of like snapped out of it, got control of my thinking, got control of my habits. And um, I don't think that I've been as good of, of a big brother as I could be. But these conversations are never easy. I'm going to give it a try. So I'm about to call him back now. What up, boy? What's good? Hey, no, nah, man. Um. I'm in. Yeah. Traffic. Look at my chat stick. Traffic. Hey, it's bars. My nigga. Taking the bars. What's up with you in the studio? Nah, I don't rap no more, boy. Yeah, like I, I like I said, I just was, I wanted to touch base with you. I, we don't talk as much as we should. And, um, I just wanted to kind of open up the lines of communication, man. Like I haven't. I haven't done the, the best job of, of uh, keeping in touch. And I just want you to know, like, if you, like, I'm here. Like, I, I made a lot of mistakes in my life, bro. Like, I made a lot of mistakes. And, like, I want I want to be a resource for you. I want to be, like, I want you to be able to learn from a lot of the mistakes I made. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't want to come across as if I'm, um trying to tell you what to do with your life or any anything like that you feel what i'm saying because we all have our own past we all have our own 
unique journeys that teaches lessons in different ways at different times and I understand that but I had zero guidance you feel what I'm saying like I didn't have an older brother I didn't have a father to turn to I didn't have a mentor none of that but you you don't you you have the luxury of having me and I just want you to know that like you you know even though like we don't speak as much as we should like I, I do want to open up that line of communication and uh, just let you know that I'm here, man. Like, um, my mindset is a lot different now than it than it was the last time. I'm pretty sure we had a conversation, and I'm pretty sure you've you've seen the evolution of of me over the last few years. You know, not just Absolutely. not just physically, but it's more so my mental evolution, and I, I think different, I move different, and this thing that I'm building. Go ahead, bro. And no, I, I've been, I've been locking in. I haven't been reaching out as much, so it's not just only you, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I've been, um, I've been locking in on you and you know your journey, your evolution, and you know I've been uh, seeing your little snaps and your, your YouTube videos. Yo, that shit, I take in a lot of that shit too. Like you know what I mean? Just as much as you think you're not there, you're really there. You know? Right. Because you know. You know you you reaching out to other people you're not only reaching out to them you're reaching out to your fam too mm -hmm. hey you guys i'm sorry baby i was gonna talk to uncle matt y'all know how i always preach that preparation is the key so I'm is about to run at 7-Eleven and heat up my food real quick. So we had we had RJ's first AAU practice. Now we're gonna see what he's gonna do with some real calm. This girl has no athletics. Yes, she does. Get that ball. Zero athletics, bro. Show him. Show him. Bounce him. See? No, she probably does. For real. She's hurting. <laughs> <laughs> Had a great day. Time to wrap this up. It's about 10.51. RJ did really good at his practice. Today. He did really good. I'm proud of that kid. He's working hard. Um, got a chance to chop it up with my brother. Just understand, man, like, it takes big sacrifice in order to make anything big happen, whether it's in fitness, whether it's in business, relationships. The bigger the sacrifice, the bigger the reward. And in order to change your circumstances, whether that's your body, whether that's your financial situation, you have to change who you are. And that's a process. It's a process that most people don't have the discipline for, that don't have they don't have the patience for it. But those who sacrifice, they reap the rewards. And those who don't, they become trolls and talk shit under people's uh videos on on YouTube. That's just how it goes. It's the hierarchy of life. But anyway, I'm about to sign off. Thank you guys for watching, for all the support. I'm just here trying to share the wellness with you guys, y'all. So get well and get money. <laughs>